Hello, in this series of videos, let us review the concepts of Python programming through quizzes and multiple choice questions. This will help to prepare for technical interviews or exams and enhance the problem solving skills. Let us see the first one. What will be the output of the following? NP indicates that NumPy package should be imported before executing this instruction. A range is a function that will create a 1D array. The elements will be starting from this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 is not included. Now, this array should be reshaped as 2 by 3 array. That means there should be 2 rows and 3 columns. And it may be like this. 1, 2, 3. This is one row. The second row will be 4, 5, 6. And since this is a 2D array, it should be enclosed by square bracket. This is 2D array. So now if you print the value of C, it will be like this. Now, here array is also a function. It is creating an array. The array is like this. 1, 2, 3. Then 4, 5, 6. And it is a 2D array. Now, in this line, add C and D. When you use add instruction, corresponding elements will be added. That is 1 plus 1, this 1 and this 1 will be added. You will have 2, then 2 plus 2, 4. This 3 and 3 will be added. This 3 and this 3, 6, 4 plus 4, 4 plus 4 is 8 then 10, then 6 plus 6, 12. So, this should be enclosed by a square bracket. So, the answer for this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Now, let us see the second one. Here, T1 is a tuple and T2 is also a tuple. Which one of the following will not give any error after the execution? They are not asking about the error occurring. They are asking to identify which one is not giving any error. Now you take the first one. Here t1 dot append 5. Actually the append is not available for tuple. So this is not correct. So this will give an error. Now you take this one. It is using t2 of T1 of 1. So 1 is the index of T1. So first you have to note down the indexes. Actually this index is 0. For this element index is 1. This is 2. This is 3. Similarly for this one this is 0, 1, 2. Now T1 of 1 that means this 2. So here you will get 2. Now you have to find out T2 of 2. T2 of 2 is 7. So x will be 7 now. So this will work. There will not be any error. Now T3 is equal to T1 plus T2. T1, two tuples can be added like this or appended. That means it will become as a single tuple. 1 comma 2, comma, double, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it will be a single double. This will also work. This will not give any error. Now T3 is equal to T1, comma T2. It is in uh, brackets. So this will provide like this. T1, T1 will be given as it is. 
<laughs> that is one then two then double then four this will be a separate tuple and there will be another tuple five six seven and the complete thing will be a tuple so this is also correct in this case tuple t1 is converted into list that means it will be like this one comma two tuple comma four this will be a list then t2 will also t2 will also be converted to list by 6 7 now this will be a tuple so this will also work like this the output will be like this so there will not be any error so the answer is this is correct this will not give any error this will not give any error these two also will not give any error in the output there will be comma here now let us see the next one let d1 is equal to one colon like this which among the following will not give the error after execution they are not asking you to find out the error they are asking you to find out which one is not giving error actually this d1 is a dictionary so this is a key for the first element and this is the value for that key similarly this is also the second key and this one is value for that key now d1 of 2 dot append 4 in this d1 this is the key you have to append 4. Append 4 means the, the 4 should be added in the value. So 4 will be added here and this will work. Now you take D1 of 0. There is no key named 0. So this will not work. The next one is D1 of 1. That is key is 1. There is no such key here. And that should be equal to 1. So if no such key is available, this key will be added in D1 and the value 1 will be assigned to that key. So this is correct. Then D1 update key is 1, value is 2. So already we have added the key 1 with value 1. Now it will be updated to 2. So this will also be correct. Now let us see this in the Python development environment itself. So this is the dictionary. First one is append 4. Let us execute this. You see the dictionary 1 colon. The same thing appears here. Now append. Now you see 4 has been added. Now you execute this one with key value 1. 1 value 1 is added then in this update one is val one is having the value 1 now you see it is becoming as 2 so it has been updated so all these three will not provide any error now let us consider this problem here s1 is a set s2 is a set s1 dot add 4 s2 dot add 4 it is a string what will be the output of s1 minus s2? See, when you execute s1 dot add 4, 4 will be also added in this set. Similarly, here, string 4 will be added. Now, s1 minus s2 indicates that if any element found in s2 is also found in s1, then that element will be removed from S1. So here 3 is in S1 and 3 is also in S2. So this 3 will be removed from S1. Now here 4 is there but this 4 is string and this 4 is integer. 
So these two will not be removed or this four will not be removed from S1. So finally S1 will have 1, 2 and 4. So this will be the answer. Now let us see the next one. Here S1 is a string. S2 is also a string. Which of the following will not return hello world? When the result is given, you observe that there is a space between hello and world. Now you take the first option, S1 plus this quotation mark, but there is a space between these two quotation marks. So S1 will be concatenated with the world and a space will be between those two. So this will return the string hello space world. Now you see this one S1 0 colon. That means the index of H is 0. The index of E is 1. The string starts from H and it will go up to the end. This colon indicates that it will go up to the end. Similarly for S2 it starts with the W and it will go until D. And these two will be concatenated and there is a space here. So this will also provide a hello space world. Now this is the format used for printing. So this uh, format S1 comma S2. So S1 will be printed here and S2 will be put here and there is a space. So this will also provide hello world. If you take this one S1 here colon minus 1 indicates the end index. So it starts from 0 that is S1 starts from this index 0 and minus 1 indicates the last index. But in this case last index will not be included. We know that if it is from 0 to 7, 7 will not, 7th index will not be included. So similarly this last one will not be included. So O will not be included in S, S1. Similarly here in S2 D will not be included. So when you con concatenate these two you will get H E L L some space and W O R L. So this will not produce the output hello world. So what they are asking is which of the following will not return hello world. Only this will not 